somewhere different today. At the moment, I'm studying a rather poor attempt at a knot garden. But where is this knot garden? We're at Woodthorpe Park, on the trail of a flatworm. And this flatworm is from the other side of the world. And like many invertebrates, this is just one which has been helped to spread by the horticultural trade, purely by the horticultural trade. Because this species should be found in the southern hemisphere. Species in question that we're after. Here's a good scientific name for you. It's Australo Pacifica atrata, which you knew, didn't you? And the first time I found this was a couple of years ago in this very spot. One of very few records in the UK for it. And there are some bits of wood where it's found in enormous numbers here and this insignificant but large chunk of poplar tree was where I first found it a few years ago we'll see if it's still in residence the good thing about it it's never in a hurry to run off It's not here. We'll try another bit. And there's the underside of Australo Pacifica atrata. The underside is grey with a, a dark stripe down it. The upside is completely black. Head end at the bottom. And this one is fairly large for an atrata. That present length is about an inch and a half long, almost getting on towards two inches, but it can reduce inside it, it can almost become blob-like. These are amazing things. They're all hermaphrodites, all flatworms are hermaphrodites, which means that they have both male and female genitalia. But some species, including this one, can be produced by a method called fission which is where the individual can split in two and then either section grows a head or a new back end how amazing is that? but these aren't good news in the UK because these are predatory on earthworms and unfortunately We've got the horticultural trade to thank for that. And there are numerous different species of these and new species are being discovered all the time. Although the interest in this group, flatworms, is very limited. In Nottinghamshire there's five species and none of them are native to the UK. There are two, possibly three, I think it is species that are native to the UK. But none of those have been found in Nottinghamshire yet. And you'll get these in gardens, 
there are some much larger individuals or spe species and you'll often find them under plant pots especially where they stand on patios and yards and as this one starts to disappear and we'll put its log back in a bit but they are amazing things and despite being amazing they're not good news as I've said so that is one of not in just five flatworms it's no good googling them because you won't find a great deal about them on the internet not UK ones anyway but they're a group of invertebrates well worth studying <laughs>